Let's meet Starline for both teams. First for the Panthers and Pioneer High School. A freshman at number 20, Houston Nice. A sophomore number 24, Kaya Murray. A sophomore number 40, Gracie Hopper. Sophomore number 10, Manoel Shamato. And senior number 13, Kennedy Core. The Panthers are coached by Jennifer Burns. And now it's being started by the Orleans Fort Slicer. A freshman at number 14, Katie Bella. A freshman at number 45, Elena Jeffers. A sophomore at number 12, Abby Dredd. A sophomore at number 34, Lauren Cole. And junior at number 32, Sydney Hill. A sophomore at by Christian Porter. Good afternoon and welcome here from Laporta High School this afternoon and a non-conference matchup with the host Laporte Slicers and your Pioneer Panthers here on RTC TV4. Glad you could join us this afternoon. Hope everybody survived the evening. What a uh, w uh, w weather evening that we had. And we are underway with the JV contest. Shmotan, Korn, Nyes, Murray, and Hopper, the five starters for the Panthers. Schreg, Bella, Hill, Poe, and Jeffers going to start things off here for Laporte. There's a uh, steal. And back the other way, Laporte has the ball. Hill puts the bucket in for Laporte, gets the slicers on the board. Murray was looking in and not able to get the ball inside that time to Gracie Hopper. Turnover for the Panthers. Shout out this morning, my future son-in-law Chandler's got his feet up, fire started it looks like, and uh, watching the game from Attica. Shmotan with the bucket. And a rebound to the Panthers coming back the other way. Shmotan up to nice shot off the mark. And the Slicers get the rebound. 2-2 here early in the JV contest. 4.45 still to go in the first quarter. Hill with another bucket for the Slicers. She has all four of their points. The foul is on number 12, Schrag, her first, team's first. Kennedy Korn at the free throw line for the Panthers. Makes one out of two. Oh. 
Up ahead, nice, 4-2. Panthers take their first lead of the game, 5-4. And Shimotan with the steal. She's got Murray. She sees her pass over, and right-hand layup is good. Kaya Murray off the steal by Shimotan. And the Panthers lead 7-4. In a 30-second timeout called by the Slicers. Slicers will have the ball out of the timeout. A nice run four in a row by Pioneer has given them a 7-4 lead with 3.42 to go here in the first quarter. JV contest between the Laporte Slicers and the Pioneer Panthers. Murray gets the rebound. She's running down the floor. She's got two on one with Nyes, and Murray takes it and puts it in for two more. Five-point lead, and Murray has the last four points for the Panthers. That one is lost by Schreg. Murray up ahead to Nyes. Nice catch and a bucket. That was a great hustle play there by Nyes, getting ahead of the Laporte defense, putting it in for two more. 8-0 run here for the Panthers. 11-4 lead now with 2.44 to go in the first quarter. And a jump ball. Shimotan ties it up. It will be Laporte's ball on the alternating possession. Ford just gets it in. Good defense there by Murray. Shimotan on the ground, tie up. Panthers will get the ball this time. Nice, 15 footer, good. Kirsten Nice, she's got six. First quarter points for the Panthers, and the lead is nine. Wholesale substitutions coming here for Laporte. Hill for two more. She's got all six of the slicers' points. So Jeffers comes in. Elizabeth Anglin, number 23, checks in. 52, Hannah Arnett checks in. And Elizabeth Wallace, number 54, checks in for the Slicers. Shot off the mark that time for Nyes. Kinsey Hathaway checking in for number 40, Gracie Hopper. For the Panthers. And a turnover travel called on Laporte. Yeah. 
And that one's going to be an over and back. Nice try there by Nyes, not able to save it. Nye is going to pick up the personal, her first, team's first. And a travel called on Laporte to give the Panthers the ball back. 49 seconds still to go here in the first quarter. Panthers lead 13-6. 10-2 run here by the Panthers. Turnaround jumper off the mark, Kennedy Korn. And the Slicers get the rebound. And there's a foul coming. I think they're going to get Shimotan. That will be Mano's first, team second. Foot on the line, bucket is good for Anglin. So the first points of the game by someone uh, not named Sidney Hill for the Slicers. And at the end of one, the port comes back. Pioneer leads 13-8 here in the JV contest. We will take a break and come back for the second quarter here in just a moment on RTC TV4. Okay, back here at LaPorte High School as we move into the second quarter. It will be Laporte ball to start things off. Panthers lead 13-8 after the first quarter here. JV team went one and one in the Cass County invite. Losing their opener to Logan Sport, but coming back and winning versus Lewis Cass. JV team also lost to North White on Thursday night. Jump shot from the baseline is good. Taylor Reeves, number 10. Back the other way, Hopper puts in two. Fifteen ten. There's a steal. Murray one on one. Shot off the mark. Offensive rebound off the fingertips of Nyes, and the Slicers come away with it. Murray gets into the passing lane. Can't quite get the steal. Three-pointer off the mark. Hathaway with the rebound. Nice. 15-footer, no good. Reeves with the board for the Slicers. That one poked away by Hopper. And Hopper with the rebound. Kicks it out to Hathaway. Hathaway up ahead. Kirsten Nice short on the shot. 
Hathaway rebound, put back attempt, no good. Sorry, I think I might have said Hathaway. That was Murray with the steal. Shot off the mark, offensive glass. Two opportunities there. Taylor Reeves is going to get the foul on the shot. Hopper going to get called for the foul. They're going to say that, that was on the floor. Anglin back in for the Slicers, and coming into the game for the Panthers is number 30, Allison Martinez Domingo. Give and go on the inbounds pass, and Anglin is going to get two shots from the free throw line. They're going to call Martinez Domingo on the personal, her first, team's fourth. At the free throw line, shooting two is Elizabeth Anglin. Puts in the first free throw. Cuts the Panther lead down to four with 4.01 to go here in the first half. Second in and out for Anglin. Rebound Hathaway, kicks it ahead to Murray. Murray pushes up ahead to Shimotan. And a foul coming on Laporte. And call Reeves on the personal, her first. Only the second team foul on Laporte here in the first half. Good defense stepping into the passing lane is Wallace. And she takes it coast to coast, 4-2. Cuts the Panthers' lead down to two. Fifteen footer for Nyes is off the mark. Rebound to the Slicers. Chance to tie or take the lead with a three here for Laporte. They battled all the way back to within two. Three point shot is long. Good offensive rebound for Riley. Gonna try the left side, and that one is good for Taylor Reeves. And she puts the slicers back in front. Hathaway, nice post move. And she puts the Panthers back in front, her first points of the game. That one is off the mark for Reeves. Rebound by Martinez Domingo. Gracie Hopper back in. And coming in for the first time, Jalen Lehman. Martinez Domingo and Shimotan will take a seat for the Panthers. Murray gets in the passing lane, gets the steal, and she is going to be fouled on the way to the basket by number 22, Kennedy Riley. That would be her first. Only the third team foul. That will put Kaya Murray at the free throw line for her first attempts of the afternoon for the Panthers. Good on the first. Second free throw coming for Murray. Off the mark, so the Panthers lead by two, 18-16. 
two minutes to go here in the half. And that is going to go off of the leg of Taylor Reeves out of bounds. Panthers will get the ball back here, minute 57 to go. I'll give a big shout out to my wife, Carrie, coming up and helping run the camera for me today. And she keeps pointing out the fact that I'm not paying or anything. Just spending the afternoon with me should be enough. And that's the biggest eye roll I've ever seen. Murray going to inbounds here for the Panthers. Gets it into Nyes. Nice, nice pass in to Gracie Hopper for two more. Lead back up to four for the Panthers. Make that one. Katie Bella with the three for the Slicers. And then the Panthers turn it back over. Another opportunity here for Laporte to regain the lead with a minute 20 to go here in the first half. Shot off the mark, but the weak side rebound from Bella. And Bella's going to be tied up. Panthers will get the ball on the jump. They're going to call Nyes with the travel. Slicer's back with the ball. Fifty-five to go here in the first half. JV contest between the Panthers and the Laporte Slicers from Laporte High School today. Here on RTC TV4, IHSA TV, Pioneer TV, all kinds of TV going on today. Murray shot off the mark, but... Nye is able to get the rebound. And the double dribble call gives the ball back over to Laporte. Three pointer on the baseline is no good for Reeves. Nice comes up with the rebound. Kicks it over to Murray. Lehman pulls up from 15. Shot off the mark. Offensive rebound, Gracie Hopper. Murray into Hathaway. Left-hand jumper, no good. Hopper gets the offensive rebound again. Gives the Panthers another opportunity. That pass thrown away. Stolen by Laporte. And the shot at the buzzer is waved off after one half of play here between Laporte and the Panthers. Pioneer leads 20 to 19. Looks like the starters back in here for both teams. There's a quick steal, push up ahead to Murray, and a double dribble called Shimotan, Korn, Nyes, Murray, and Hopper for the Panthers. Shreg, Bella, Hill, Poe, and Jeffers in for Laporte. Shot is off the mark that time by Hill. Rebound, nice push up ahead to Nyes. Can't put it in. And Laporte comes up with the rebound. That was a good pass from Shimotan into Nyes. She's not able to finish that one off.
Hill driving, good defense there by Nyes. She's going to take a shot just inside the three-point line. That one's going to be short, rebound to Korn. Murray pushes it up ahead, Shimotan back to Murray, and they're going to say Kaya Murray double dribbled. Fifteen footer off the mark that time for Sydney Hill. It's going to go out of bounds. Ball over to the Panthers. Nice kicks it over. Shimotan right wing. She's got two on her. It's like a two-three zone here for the Slicers. Motan got into the paint, but uh, lost her footing there. Went down hard on her knee. And uh, they tried to get it back up to her. She was not able to get all the way down the floor, but a good job of recovering there and getting a hand on that by Lauren Poe. Knocks it out of bounds. So it'll be Panther ball here, baseline right. Murray will inbound here for the Panthers. 15-foot jumper off the mark by Kennedy Korn. And we're going to have a foul coming up on the back side. And that's going to be on number 23, Anglin. That is her first and the first by Laporte here in the second half. Nyes gets it in to Hopper, kicks it back out to Shimotan over to Nyes. Murray over to Shimotan. And she kind of got caught in the air and took the shot. It actually wasn't a bad looking shot there. It goes a little hard off the glass. Rebound to Bella. And a timeout called here by the Laporte Slicers. It's a 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it here. So 4.23 to go here in the third quarter. Same score that we had at the half, 20-19 to 19 in favor of the Panthers. Varsity contest coming up after the completion of the JV. Shout out to my oldest daughter, Madeline, and my grandson, Rowan, watching here from Milford. Watching Aunt Minot and Aunt Mac will be playing here in the varsity contest. Slicers, and that's a uh, turnover traveling on Anglin. Gives the ball back over to the Panthers. Trying to get it inside to Korn, and that one's picked off by the Slicers. Pioneer in a 2-3 zone here as well. Nice job of penetrating, getting into the paint. And scoring the bucket, number 32, Sydney Hill. Hill has eight points, and the Slicers back in front, 22 21. Bucket is good for Hopper. Free throw coming up. And she puts it in. So three-point play gives Hopper seven. And just like that, the Panthers back in front, 23-21.
That foul was the first on 45, Elena Jeffers. Second team foul by the Slicers. Hill, no good. Weak side rebound, no good that time. Again, rebound, no good. Another opportunity, though, and a jump ball, and that will be Pioneer ball. Off the mark and coming away with the ball is Anglin. Brings it across the timeline here with three minutes to go in the third quarter. Hill, 15-footer, no good. Rebound, Jeffers. And that's going to be a foul. Anglin taking it to the basket. They're going to call Kirsten Nyes on that foul, her second first on the Panthers here in the second half. Anglin at the line shooting two for the Slicers and good on the first. Two of three from the free throw line today for Anglin. Second free throw coming up. And off the back iron, no good. So the Panthers hold on to a one-point advantage here, 23-22. Murray tries to go back door. Anglin was aware of that and read it. And Kaiser is going to call for the travel. Katie Bella back in. And the Panthers will call a 30-second timeout with 2.35 to go here in the third. Panthers ball here on their end line out of the timeout. And it's going to be tipped out by Laporte. Another opportunity here from uh, this side this time. Murray gets it in up to Nyes. Back to Murray. Three pointer in and out for Murray. Ball is loose. And the jump ball, that will go to Laporte. Sorry, I missed one there. Now I'm right, so the next one will go to the Panthers. And Shimotan ties her up. So the Panthers will get the ball back there on the jump. 23-22 in favor of Pioneer with two minutes to go here in the third. Murray tracks down that pass, gets it back over to Shimotan. Cross-court pass picked off by number 14, Bella. Good defense by Nyes, cutting off that lane, getting in there. Loose ball. And they're going to call over and back. That might have been tipped, but uh, they're going to say it wasn't. Gives the ball back to the Panthers. Bella putting a little pressure on Murray. Yeah. 
And a timeout called by Coach Burns. This one will be a full timeout by the Panthers. Take one with them here and be back in just a moment on RTC TV4. Panthers will inbound the ball here again on their baseline. Murray three-pointer, no good. Good block out there by Bella. And Sidney Hill able to come away with the rebound for the Slicers. Oh, Kirsten Nice just pokes it away from Bella. And on the layup attempt, it's going to be a foul on Katie Bella, her first. And that will put Kirsten Nyes at the free throw line for the Panthers. Nyes off on the first. This is her first trip to the free throw line. Bounce and second bounce, no good. Under a minute to go here in the third quarter. Just inside the free throw line, Hill's shot is off the mark. Panthers with the ball with 15 to go here in the quarter. And that's going to be out of bounds off of Pioneer. So 11.3 to go here in the quarter. And the Slicers with another opportunity. And a foul, looks like Nye is going to get called on that one. That will be her third if it is. I'll send Katie Bella to the free throw line for her first attempts of the afternoon. 2.7 seconds to go here in the third quarter. And that first one is good. That ties us up at 23. Hathaway going to come in for Nyes, who picked up her third foul. Chance to take the lead here if Bella can put the free throw in. Off the mark, no good. And that's going to do it after three quarters here at LaPorte High School. We are all tied up 23-23 between the Slicers and the Panthers. Very low scoring third quarter there. Laporte scored four, and the Panthers only scored three. into Hill. Hathaway gets a hand on it and it's going to go out of bounds off of the Slicers. Ball back over to the Panthers. Bounds will stay Pioneer Ball. Nice will inbound here on the near sideline. Gets it into Murray. 
Over to Shimotan. Hathaway up to Nyes. Nyes might have uh, shuffled her feet there. No call. Murray on the three-point line. Shot off the mark. Offensive glass. Last touch by Laporte. So the Panthers will get another opportunity. Nice, kicks it out. Murray just inside the three-point line. Shot off the mark. Hathaway in position. Gets the offensive glass. Her shot no good. Rebound by Hill. And Schreg brings it across the timeline. Kicks it quickly up ahead. Shot off the mark by Reeves. Rebounded by the Panthers. Schmotan kicks it over to Murray. Slicers get back into uh, their defense. Schmotan kicks it over to Murray. Murray baseline drive, shot off the mark. Hill with the board. And a timeout called by the Slicers. Laporte has the ball coming out of the timeout with 440 to go in the fourth quarter. Still in the JV contest here between the Laporte Slicers and the Pioneer Panthers. I keep wanting to say the Laporte Lancers. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I do so much stuff with LaVille. First time, uh, first time coming up here actually doing a game at Laporte. So I want to, uh, to thank Ed and Steve, the athletic director and assistant athletic director up here at Laporte High School for allowing us to come up here and broadcast the game today on IHSA TV and uh, their hospitality, helping get everything set up and making sure everything was working. So we appreciate that. Still tied at 23. Good pass inside the first time, no good. But Poe with the rebound basket and puts it in and puts the Slicers back up by two, about halfway through the fourth quarter. Pioneers kind of gone dry here in the second half, only scoring three points through about a quarter and a half of play. Nice pass into Hathaway, shot off the mark, and they're going to get Hathaway over the back with the personal, her first. Only the third team foul on Pioneer. So it will be Laporte ball with 325 to go in the fourth quarter with a two point advantage for the Slicers. Murray gets in the passing lane, picks it off, takes it in, and scores two. And we are tied at 25. Seven for Murray. Three-pointer from the right wing is no good for Reeves. And a double dribble is going to be called on Korn. Nye's back into the game. She's got three fouls, but 2.40 to go. I don't think that's a big issue. Shimotan into the passing lane, picks it off, comes down the other way, gives it to Murray. Murray's going to reset the offense here for the Panthers. Is it over to Nye's on the left wing. Nye's looking for a gap, picks up her dribble at the free throw line. Shot, no good. And that one's going to be on the end line. So the Panthers will get the ball back, 2.29 to go. Murray gets it in. Nice pass to Korn. Shot off the mark, but she gets the rebound. 
Panthers get another opportunity. Murray, three-pointer off the back iron. Schrag with the rebound, pushes it up ahead. Nice pass over, and the bucket is good for Bella. Puts the slicers back in front by two. Nice 15 footer, no good. And that will go out of bounds. Laporte back with the ball, minute 45 to go here in the fourth quarter. Pass picked off. Nice gets in the passing lane. They got a three on two, but a good job of recovery there by Laporte. Ten foot jumper. Nice in and out. And Hathaway, I think, is going to get called on a foul. That is Kenzie's second, the fourth team foul. Panthers shooting has gone cold here in the second half. Only five points. And that shot is good for Schrag, giving the Slicers the four-point lead with a minute two to go. And that's going to be a jump ball. It will be Pioneer's ball, I believe. That one knocked away by Lauren Poe. Under a minute to go here in the JV contest. Nice gets an opening, can't get the shot. Good block out there by Laporte. Pass stolen, Nice can't get it to go again. And Laporte is gonna bring it up. And Nyes will get called on the foul, her fourth, team's fifth. 26 seconds to go. And they're going to say that's off of Laporte, so the Panthers will get an opportunity here with 24.2, trailing by four. Going to need a quick bucket. Murray on the baseline and ran out of real estate and went over the line, giving the ball back to the Slicers. The Slicers win the JV contest 29-25 here from Laporte. The only end of the quarter that they were ahead in was the fourth, but that's the most important one. Panthers led 13-8 after one. Panthers led 20-19 at the half, and we were tied at 23 after three. The Slicers outscoring Pioneer 6-2 to two in the fourth quarter to pull out the win here in the JV contest.
with a record of six wins and two losses, let's meet the start line for the Pioneer Panthers. At one four, six point South four, number 24, Brooklyn Portis. Another four, five point eight in South four, number 25, Kylie Adventure. At one guard, five foot five inch freshman, number 32, McKenna Stricker. And another guard, a five foot four inch senior, number 23, Maggie Steffel. Rounding out the guard, a five foot six inch senior, number 30, Haley Price. The Panthers are going to close by Jack Brooks. With a record of two wins, seven losses, let's beat starting line up for the old for Slicer. Now one four, the five to left of the senior, number 30, Bella Gray. At the other four, the five to the senior, number 24, Bella Gray. Now one car, five foot seven, junior number 13, Desiree Shelton. Now one car, five foot seven, sophomore for the four of Simmons. Rounding out the car, five foot seven, junior number five, Aiden Green. Assisted by Bill Green, and hold his fight for the next Okay, here we go. So, uh, late scratch for the Panthers in the starting lineup. Ashlyn Brook was supposed to be starting. Maggie Steffel in her place. Not sure what happened there. Borges, Adinger, Kripe, and Stricker for the Panthers. Shreves, Shelton, Simmons, Dubs, and Shrieg, the starters for the Laporte Lancers. As we get set here with the varsity contest. And that's going to be on the line. So it will be the Lancers, or I know it's going to do that, Slicers with the ball as we get going here from Laporte. Man to man defense to start things off here for Pioneer. Tipped out of bounds. Stricker got a finger on it. Something out on the floor there, so the ref picks that up, and we're good to go here. Inbounding from the far side is Simmons. Gets it into Shreeg. And good defense there, poked out of bounds. It's going to be off of Shreves. Panthers will have the ball. So they got uh, Shelton face guarding Haley Kripe here. It's going to put uh, Stricker on the ball here. Gets a screen from Adiger, kicks it over to Borges, into Kripe, and the bucket. Kripe puts the Panthers on the board with the bucket, and she will go to the free throw line to shoot the and one opportunity. Sorry, I picked the wrong time to play that, but I had to play that. She did hit the free throw. So the Panthers with the 3-0 lead as we start things off. And Kripe gets a hand on that one, knocks it out of bounds. So coming in for Laporte is number 22, Kennedy Riley. And a five-second call, so the ball goes back over to the Panthers. Well, they want to face guard uh, Kripe there. That's okay. Stricker can bring the ball up just as well. 
Oh, that was a quick whistle there. They're going to call a uh, illegal screen on Kylie Adinger. Her first. And Shriek quickly back into the game. Coming in for dubs. I had her at 24. They have 24 and 23. They said 24, but she's wearing 23 today. Steffel gets the loose ball. So the Panthers get the turnover. Adinger short on the shot. Rebound to the Slicers. Simmons with the ball. Steffel on her. Kripe into the passing lane and not able to uh, get it before it goes out of bounds. Another sub coming in, Abby Allen, number 20. Can give Riley a break. Stricker comes up with the steal. Just kind of tosses it to nowhere. And it's going to be out of bounds off of Laporte. So Stricker brings it across the timeline. Kicks it back out top. Brooklyn Borges. And they're going to call an offensive foul on Borges. Her first, the second on the team. Reverse layup, no good. Rebound pushed ahead. Kripe has it. Simmons on Kripe. Reset the offense, kicks it out to Borges. Borges, 15 foot, kicks it in. Adinger, shot no good, but a foul coming on Laporte. We'll send Kylie Adinger to the free throw line to shoot two. Schrag with the foul, her second. Adinger off on the first. Riley checking back into the game for Allen. Second free throw for the sophomore Adinger is good. That makes it 4-0 in favor of the Panthers. And Simmons puts it in for the first points for Laporte. Stricker loses it. Loose ball. And it's going to go out of bounds. I believe it's going to be off of Laporte. So as you could expect, a little discombobulated, the point guard for the Panthers, uh, a late scratch, Ashlyn Brook. Uh, not really sure what happened there, but uh, was all set to go. So Adinger setting a the screen there, turns around, gets the ball. Gets it out to Borges. Borges tries to get it back to Adinger. That's going to be a turnover for the Panthers. Kripe gets a uh, hand on that one. Good job hustling back there by the senior, Haley Kripe. Gets a hand in the passing lane. Panthers lead 4-2, 4.30 to go here in the first quarter. Dubs checks back into the game. And that bucket is good for Shreves, tying us at four apiece. Yeah. 
Step back three, Haley Kreit, no good. Adinger with the rebound. And Adinger puts it in for two. Kylie Adinger with three. Haley Kripe with three, and the lead is 6-4 for the Panthers. And Kripe gets the steal, and she's going to be fouled, I believe, by number 23, Dubs, picks up her first. Shelton checks back in for Shriek. Shriek has two fouls. Now they're going to pick up a little uh, token full court pressure here. Stricker is going to bring it across the timeline. Simmons is on her now. Shelton is face guarding Kripe. Mandy Weisenberger going to check in for Brooklyn Borges. I don't know if there must have been a uh, must have been a book error there. So the slicers will have the ball. Simmons going to take the free throws here for Laporte. Off on the first. Simmons makes one out of two from the free throw line. And Laporte will have the ball, 3.37 to go. They just gave them the 6-5, not 7-4. Gave it to the wrong team. Foul on McKenna Stricker, her first. And that will send Shreves to the free throw line. So the first one is good. We're tied at six. And Laporte takes the first lead at 7-6 with that second free throw. Simmons going to be called on the foul, her first. <laughs> Steffel's pass is kicked by number five, Shreves. Panthers will have it there on the far side. And there's a foul on Simmons. That will be her second. Ashlyn Brooke checks into the game for Pioneer. So 
Brooke into the game there. Didn't get the start, so not exactly sure what was going on there. They're going to call Adinger with the walk. Shrag back into the game for the Lancers. Lancers, they did it again, sorry. Slicers. Can you tell us the first time I've been to LaPorte calling a game? Nice interior pass, and that's going to be a bucket by Riley. Three-point lead for LaPorte. They left Brooke wide open. They're going to learn that's not what you want to do. Nine nine two thirteen to go. Nice backdoor cut. Shreves for two more. Knocked away from Weisenberger. Call traveling on Mandy Weisenberger. That would give the ball back over to the Slicers. <laughs> Double dribble. <laughs> Dub's going to come back into the game for Schrieg. Slicers lead 11-9. Brooke, three-pointer from the baseline, no good. Rebound to Shreves. And Haley Kripe going to get called on the personal. On the floor, her first, fifth on the Panthers. Both teams with five fouls here in the first quarter. Shriek going to come back in for dubs. Top of the key, three-pointer off the mark, and Brooklyn Board just gets the rebound for the Panthers. Gives it to Brooke, little crossover move, kicks it back out to Adinger, back up top, Stricker. Thought about a three, passes it to Borges. Stricker gets it up top, Kripe, we're gonna reset the offense. Kripe dumps it over the top to Borges. Borges somehow gets it back. Kripe can't get the reverse to go. And a foul 80 feet away by Brooklyn Borges. And that is her second, team's sixth. So Borges with two here in the first quarter. Still 46 seconds to go. It's going to be a tightly called game. The, both teams are going to need to adjust. 11 fouls called here already in the first quarter. Six by the Panthers and five by the Laporte Slicers. Simmons loses her feet, and she's going to get called for the travel. Coming back into the game is Dubs. Panthers have the ball back, trailing by two, 30 seconds to go here in the first quarter. 
been kind of a disjointed quarter here for Pioneer. Kripe has that shot blocked. And they're going to say she caused a foul her second, and that's going to be a one in the bonus now for Laporte. Two fouls on Kripe. Steffel into the game, and Weisenberger into the game. Brooklyn Borges will take a seat. She's got two fouls as well. At the free throw line is Shreves for the one and one. And she puts in the first. Shreve's good on both. It's a four point lead for Laporte with 18 seconds to go. Charging call on Brooke. Reeves to the bucket, foul on Adinger, her second. Bucket is good with six tenths of a second to go. After one, Laporte leads the Panthers 15-9. Here at LaPorte High School, we'll take a break and come back with second quarter action in just a moment here on RTC TV4. Not the start to the game I don't think that anybody expected from uh, Pioneer. Kreit back out on the floor. Three-pointer no good, Borges clears the rebound, gives it out to Brooke. Ashlyn Brooke, three-pointer, top of the key, off the mark. Rebound to Schreg. One and done for the Panthers. Shot off the mark that time for Simmons. Quickly up ahead. Kreit back to Adinger. Stricker's shot is off the mark. Good block out that time by Shreves. Stricker gets the steal. Pushes it up ahead to Brooke. Brooke pulls up, 15-footer, good, Ashlyn Brooke. So a little bit of light there for the Panthers. Ashlyn Brooke with five. Timeout on the floor called by Laporte. Thirty-second timeout. 6.51 here to go in the first half. Laporte leads 15-11 over the Pioneer Panthers. There's a lot of things on my mind right now, but I'm not going to put them out here in words. I'm not really sure what's going on. Pioneer just a little out of sorts. Such as my cameraman is out of sorts. She's uh, falling asleep at the wheel over here as well. She keeps telling me you get what you pay for, right? And a jump ball. 
And that will be Pioneer ball. Sorry, I had that wrong. So Pioneer will get the ball back on the jump. Brooke brings it across. Kicks it up to Adinger. Cripe down to Borges. Left hand layup. Good. Brooklyn Borges for two. And the lead is down to two for the Slicers. And the bank is open for Shreves. Foul coming here on Laporte. That's going to be their sixth team foul. So they will be, the Panthers will be in the bonus. First foul on Riley. Sixth team foul, 547 still to go here in the first half. So we'll be shooting a lot of free throws. Nice dive there by Kripe. So that cuts it down to two again. Number 10, Taylor Reeves checking into the game. Three-pointer in and out that time for Shreves. Kripe drives baseline, tries to kick it off of a Laporte player, gets the ball back somehow and is going to be fouled and go to the free throw line. That foul on Abby Allen. Haley Kripe going to have two shots here. Opportunity to tie it up if she can make them both. And the senior puts in the first. A lot of substitutions here for Laporte. And Kripe ties the game at 17, making both free throws. Seven points for Haley Kripe here in the first half. And a travel called. So the Panthers with an opportunity here with five minutes to go in the half to take the lead. Shot off the mark by Brooke. Rebound to Laporte. Riley brings it across the paint. Timeline into the paint. And a jump ball will stay Laporte ball. Simmons back into the game, as is Shelton going to be coming back in. Stricker gets the steal. She's got one on one. Can't make the bucket, but the rebound is good for Adinger. Kylie Adinger bucket puts the Panthers back in front 19 17. Fifteen foot pull up, good. Ashlyn Brook. 
Seven now for Ashland. The lead is up to four quickly here for the Panthers. Five seconds, no. Bounce it off of a foot. Blocked by Borges. What a block by Borges. Wow. Steffel in for Stricker. Coming in is Riley and Shreves for Laporte. Adinger is at the free throw line. That is the second foul on Shelton. One and one here for the sophomore, Kylie Adinger. And the first one is good. Two for two from the line, Adinger, and it is a six-point lead for the Panthers. 3.30 to go here in the first half. Adinger, good help defense. Drive to the paint, shot off the mark. Rebound, though, for Shreves. Gives the Slicers a second chance here. And they're going to call a travel on Shrieg. Dub's going to check back into the game for Shrieg. Pass in, Kripe, shots off the mark. Nice little slip there by Kripe. Gets a hand on that one, forces the pass back out top. Port kind of trying to find something here. Looks like they've lost a little bit of their uh, confidence here in the second quarter. And Adinger gets into the passing lane, pokes that one out of bounds. 23-17 with 2.16 to go. Coming back in is Schrieg, and she will give uh, Dubs a break. Kripe gets into the passing lane, gets the steal. Got two on one with Ashland Brook running down the left side and puts it in for an easy two. Eight-point lead now for the Panthers, 25-18. Less than two to go here in the first half. Baseline jumper is short. Offensive rebound. And they're going to say that was out off of Laporte. Or just went down hard there. Was just uh, fortunate not to hit the bleachers. Coming in is number 12, Abby Schrieg. Abby is a 5'7 sophomore. A foul coming here on the Slicers. That will be on Simmons, her third. And they say second. Kreit puts in the first. Kripe is good on both, two for two, and it's a 10-point lead. Stricker back in for Steffel. 
Minute and a half to go here in the first half. Pioneers outscored Laporte 16 here in the second quarter. Baseline three, no good. Weak side rebound. Stricker can't get it. A little out of her reach, and it's going to be out of bounds for Laporte. Shriek back into the game for Shriek. Isabella coming in for Abby. Minute 10 to go here. Laporte has it baseline right. A little 2-3 zone here. Maybe, uh, yeah, it's 2-3, I think, for the Panthers. Good defense there by Adinger popping up there on the wing. Blocked by Borges again. Out of bounds. That shot attempt by Riley was blocked by Brooklyn Borges, her second big block here of the first half. Trap up top, Kripe and Brooke. Travel, no call. Borges gets the steal. Brooke brings it across, 20 seconds to go. Kripe, baseline three, off the mark. Rebound, Borges got two hands in the back, no call. Wow. Seven tenths of a second, and that's going to be a foul on Haley Kripe. She only has one speed, and that is full on, and that is her third. So two shots coming here for number five, Shreves. She's been the big bright spot here for Laporte in the first half. Puts in the first. Kripe and Borges going to sit down. Steffel and Weisenberger come in with seven tenths to go. Two for two for Shreves. And that'll do it. An exciting first half here at Laporte. The Panthers lead 27-19. We will take a break and come back with some halftime stats. Get ready for the second half here on RTC TV4. Borges, Brooke, Adinger, Kripe, and Stricker. Start the game, or start the half here for the Panthers. Brooke pulls up right wing, three, good. Ashlyn Brooke for three. Had a look at it there, decided to uh, pass it up and then took it and drilled it. And a turnover for the Slicers. Trap out top by Brooke and Kripe forces the turnover. And a quick substitution puts Riley into the game for Dubs. Shot off the mark, offensive board by Adinger. A little slip cut there by Borges, passed just off of her fingertips and out of bounds. Nice cut there by Borges. Kripe gets a hand on it, but a good recovery there by Simmons. It's going to go through. Stricker's going to get the steal. Stricker, or uh, Brooke, up ahead to Kripe for two more. Off the assist from Brooke. Brooke. 
And Stricker comes up there and forces the jump. It will stay Laporte ball. Good defense here by the Panthers starting off the second half, forcing two turnovers and a jump ball. Five quick points to start the half for the Panthers as well. Stricker gets in the passing lane. She's got one-on-one -on -one and misses the layup. Right, right wing, three off the mark. Rebound, Adinger puts it in for two. And the Slicers call a timeout. It is a full timeout. We will take a break with them and be back here with more from LaPorte High School in just a moment. Four turnovers forced by the Panthers. Here already in a minute and less than a half of action in the third quarter. Panthers going back man to man here against Laporte. And a good pull up there by Schrieg for her first bucket of the evening. Top of the key three, Ashlyn Brook. 16 now, 15 now, sorry, for Ashlyn Brook. 16 point lead for the Panthers. And it looks like they're dropping back into the 2-3. I think these defensive uh, switches here by the Panthers have really kind of left the port trying to figure out what they want to do. One time down, it's man. One time down, it's zone. One time, it's 2-3. looks like that was kind of almost a, gosh, almost a 2-1-2. Two, two. I think it was still uh, what they would consider to be their 2-3, but it uh, looked like uh, maybe that 33 defense that Val always talks about. They were uh, pull, pulling those uh, wing, uh, baseline wing players up, or the, uh, the bottom players up and, and playing more of a wing rotation as well. Reversal, that one might have been blocked by Borges. And that one definitely was blocked by Borges, but she's going to get called on the personal, sending number five Shreves to the free throw line where she has been perfect for the afternoon, six for six from the free throw line. That is the third on Brooklyn Borges. And make it uh, seven for seven for Shreves. Gracie Hopper going to check into the game for Borges. 15 for Shreves. And she misses the second. Adinger gets the rebound, kicks it up ahead to Ashlyn Brook. Brook looking for a screen from Hopper. Pulls up baseline, 10 footer, no good. Kicks it up top, Stricker. Stricker pulls up, three pointer off the mark. Rebound Hopper. Shot off the mark, weak side rebound, Haley Kripe for two. And a jump ball, Stricker gets a hand on it again, and that will be Pioneer with the turnover forced on the Lan Lancers. I did it again. Slicers. Gonna have to edit some of the audio on this thing. Hey, 
It's a Saturday afternoon. I'm doing all the stats and uh, just give me a little bit of leeway there. Kripe goes down hard. She's going to get two free throws out of that drive. Foul coming on Laporte. Be on number 20, Abby Allen. Her second. Much better here through uh, half of a quarter. Only two fouls called. And Kripe puts in the first. Fourteen for Kripe, and she is good on the second as well. Two for two. Maggie Steffel checks into the game for Stricker. Halfway through the third quarter here, the lead is 19 for Pioneer, 41-22. After a slow start in that first quarter, the Pioneer trailed by six. They got it going in the second and have uh, kept their foot down on the gas here in the third quarter as well, building the lead up now to 19 points. Poked away by Kripe. That one right into the hands of Ashlyn Brook. Brook ahead to Kripe for an easy bucket. Seventeen for Haley Kripe. Lead is twenty-one now for the Panthers. Kripe up ahead again. Brooke ten footer. Kripe two more for Haley Kripe. And Laporte will call a thirty-second timeout with three ten to go here in the third quarter. It has been all Panthers here in the third. Eighteen to three after an eighteen to four second quarter. Thirty six to seven after that six point lead by Laporte coming out of the first. Be Laporte ball here. Slicers try and get something going here in the third. Only three points since the half. Panthers have uh, played some pretty stifling defense here. They've been switching back and forth from a man to a zone. Brooke gets a hand on it. Brooke got a hand on that one, knocked away. And Hopper comes up with it, gets it ahead to Brooke. Brooke pulls up from 10, shot off the mark. Haley Kripe, offensive glass, no good. She's going to go to the free throw line, shooting two. Third foul on Shelton, and that puts Kripe at the free throw line. One for two for Haley Kripe. Baseline jumper good for Shriek. She has four in the quarter, actually four in the game. And a three, Ashlyn Brook. Three threes here in the third quarter alone. She has 18 on the game. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's going to be a foul on Steffel, putting Shreves at the line. That will be Maggie's first. Seven for eight from the free throw line for Shreves. And puts in the first. Nine for ten from the free throw line. That's a pretty good percentage for Shreves. She has 17 for the Slicers. Nice cut, left hand and a reverse layup by Haley Kripe. Great pass in the assist from Brooke. Off of Steffel, out of bounds. That one was altered by, oh, nice outlet from Weisenberger to Brooke, all the way up ahead to Kripe for the bucket. Three more, Haley Kripe. Stuffing the stats here in the quarter. 18 points in this quarter alone for Haley Kripe. 27 points on the game for the senior. 30 point lead for the Panthers. Stricker going to come back in. Kripe does have three fouls, but she had those at the half, so a clean quarter. I think Coach Brooke just wanting to make sure she doesn't pick up a quick one here. That was the Panthers ball anyway, so I don't know for sure. Anyway, that was a great quarter for the Panthers. Take a look here, a couple of replays. This was the great cut and pass from Brooke. Left hand into Kripe with the finish on the left side on the reversal. And then the play just a minute ago. The outlet from Weisenberger off the rebound and the quick push ahead by Brooke up for an easy two to Haley Kripe. And after three, the Panthers with a 30 point lead. 56-26 here at LaPorte High School. We'll take a quick break. Come back with fourth quarter action here in just a moment. So LaPorte will have the ball here to start the fourth quarter. Saved into the hands of Ashlyn Brook. Three-pointer Haley Kripe, no good. Pioneer outscored Laporte 18-4 in the second quarter. They outscored them 29-7 in the third quarter. Three-pointer Simmons for the Slicers.
Travel called on. The Panthers gives the ball back over to Laporte. And that is going to be through Simmons' hands out of bounds. Another turnover for the Slicers. Brooke brings it across the timeline. Scoop shot, no good. Rebound, Simmons. Brooke, steal. And the pass up ahead too far for Kripe. Drag for two. Just inside the three-point line, shot is off the mark for Reeves. And a jump ball will be Pioneer. Adinger back into the game for Weisenberger. Brooke brings it across the timeline. 25-point lead for the Panthers. Turn around, jumper, no good. Foul coming on Shreves. That's her first, yeah. Ashlyn Brooke at the free throw line. Off on the first. First trip to the free throw line for the junior. 16 points for the game, 18 points for the game, 17, I'll get it, now 18. I was just anticipating that free throw going in. 26 point lead for the Panthers. Three pointer long, rebound to Borges. Pass up ahead too far for Adinger. Get a foul on Brooklyn Borges, her fourth. Third team foul of the second half on the Panthers. Boy, able to get a lot of uh, movement there. Ball pops back out. Hesitation. Kick out to Kripe. Thought about the three. And around and a layup, Ashlyn Brooke for two more. Lead is 18 for the Panthers. And three, Simmons. Step back three, short. 
Good rebound by Riley. Gives to Simmons. And Shreves will set up the offense for the Slicers. Kripe into the passing lane. And in for an easy two. So a 30-second timeout called by Coach Brooke. Mainly to get some subs in, I believe. 61-34, 325 to go here in the fourth quarter from LaPorte High School. Again, the Panthers have three huge games coming up next week. That game on Tuesday versus Caston just got bigger. The Caston Comets winning in Hoosier North Conference action, 48-34 over Triton. So the Comets coming in at 3-0. That would be the conference game between Pioneer and Caston. Steffel and Hopper into the game for Pioneer at the break. There's a turnover and left-hand layup is good. Foul on number 20, Abby Allen. The and one free throw is good for Brooke. Lead back up to 30 now for the Panthers. No good. Borges able to outwork and get the rebound there. Got the ball away from Schrag. Another 30-second timeout here by Coach Brooke. I think wanting to get some more subs in with 2.26 to go. Kennedy Korn in, Stricker back in. So Hopper, Stricker, Kripe, Steffel, and Korn. The five on the floor for the Panthers. Ball poked away from Korn. And the foul called on the ground. Good defense there by Schrag. So only the fourth team foul on the Panthers. Nice move there by Shreves, not able to put that one in. Oh, 
Oh, nice look in. Assist from Kripe to Hopper. Stricker gets that loose ball. Stricker puts the bucket in. Two more for the Panthers. Sorry, I'd get a little excited there. She's uh, been on a little bit of a struggle bus there trying to get the bucket the last few games. So that was nice to see that one in. Under a minute to go here, 34-point lead. Shreves for two. And the jump ball, if I have this right, will be Laporte. Yep, looks like it. Oh, man. I got to start hiring better help. I can't say anything bad about my cameraman. She's, she's doing it for free today. My wife, Carrie, I want to thank her for coming up here and helping out. So... She got her. She got caught watching the paint dry, as you will. Shot off the mark, a rebound, and last uh, ten seconds or so here. Kirsten Nye is into the game. And that will do it. The final 68-36. Panthers pick up the win here at LaPorte High School.